But I guess that I know it deep inside It feels like we're ready to crack these days You and I When it's just the two of us Only the two of us I could die Hey folks, today we're going to do a song from one of my favourite bands, Biffy Clyro We're going to do the acoustic version of Black Chandelier Now we're going to be tuning our guitar down to E flat standard tuning, okay? And we're going to be doing a lot of different sections, a lot of nice little chords as well. Okay, so this might be a little bit longer this lesson. So stick with me and we'll get all the way through it. So let's get started. Right folks, our song is in E flat. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be chaining down our E string, our low E string to an E flat. Our A string to an A flat. Our D string to a D flat. Our G to a G flat. You're getting the pattern here probably. B to B flat and high E to E flat. Okay, so use our tuner for that, or you can work out from the strings I'm playing here. Right, our first part we need to do is our intro. Now, our intro has got two little sections to it. The first part, we'll not put the tab on the screen because it's very easy. All we need to do is play two natural harmonics at the 12th fret on the 2nd and 3rd string. Okay, A natural harmonic is made by lying your finger over the fret wire at the, the furthest end of the 12th fret and not putting any pressure on the string, just basically touching the string very lightly. What we're going to do is we're going to play 2, 3, sorry, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Very, very simple. So you're looking for that sort of chimey sound. Like that sort of idea. So we're going to go two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. That's it when it comes in with the drip, drip, drip. Okay. Then after that, we're going to play a little pattern on a C major seven. So we'll put the tab on the screen for this because this is a little sixteen note pattern that runs through. We're going to put our middle finger at the third fret on the fifth string. And we're going to be playing a little pattern. We're going to play five sets of three notes and then one at the end. So, as you can see from the tab here, we're going to be playing two notes on the 5th string, followed by one note on the 3rd string. Now we're going to do that twice. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we're going to change the higher string, where instead we're going to go, to, instead of going to 3, we're going to go to 2. So we're going to go... Okay, so see we went for the 2nd string that time. Then we're going to go back and play twice on the third string. Always playing two on the fifth string just beforehand. That will give us all together, that will give us 15 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's actually quite hard to count and play there. And then we're going to play one note back on that fifth string again and then repeat the pattern round. Okay, so we'll get this sound. through. That's all we have to do for the intro. This little part that we just played will appear after the second chorus as well. Uh, sorry, the first chorus. So you will play this again, okay, just before you go into that second verse. So remember that pattern. Use the tab to help you work through it and remember and work through your strings. You could do alternate picking, you could do down picking, either one will be fine. So let's move on to our verse part now. Right, our verse part is put into five chords, okay. We're going to be using G over B, E minor 7, D over F sharp, normal G chord, and a C sus2. Okay, so let's go through the shapes. We'll put them on the screen as well. So we know how to probably play a G chord. Okay, our G chord usually looks like this: a four-finger chord, three and two on the sixth and fifth string, and then three and three uh, third fretwise on the second and first string. So we're just going to lift off this middle finger and strum down from the A string. That's going to give us G over B. This chord will appear quite a lot in the song. We're going to use this in the chorus as well. So keep this chord in mind. We're going to strum it three times. Then we're going to add our middle finger down on the second fret of the fourth string and then strum all the strings. That's going to give us E minor 7. And we're going to strum that five times altogether. 
So we're three times on the first chord, five times on the second chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That's the first part of our verse, okay? Nice and simple, right. Our next chord, as you can see moving along, is D over F sharp. Split the fingers, move the middle finger down one string, and move the index finger up one string there like that. You're going to play that three times. That's strumming all the strings. Then a normal G chord. Just four times on that one, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, before the next bar starts, you're going to sneak in a little C sus2 there, okay? So I'll run that through again. We're going to play G over B three times. E minor 7 five times. D over F sharp three times. G four. Then C sus2. Now timing wise on there, we're going to just go quickly onto that, the C sus2. And then we're going to leave a little rest. One and two and three and four and Okay, so that gives you an idea of how the verse is going to sound through. So we'll play that through again for you. Then once more. Okay, and your lyrics, say like the first verse lyrics would go with I should laugh but I don't want a failure in your eyes and that'll give you an idea of how the, the sort of lyrics work along with the chords. Okay? Now you're going to play that through four times all together and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a tiny little riff at the end. So the little riff, we'll not bother with the tab because it's just basically two notes that we're playing. We're going to keep our middle finger on this third fret note here on the fifth string, play the second fret on the third string and we're also going to play the fourth fret with the pinky on the third string as we play along. We're basically playing two notes. We're playing the third fret on the fifth and the second fret on the third string and muting out the fourth string. So that's quite an easy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's like eight strums all together. On this part here, we're just strumming the two strings here. We're managing to mute out the, the fourth string. We're strumming it twice at the second fret. Then adding the pinky at the 4th fret, strumming that twice, back to the 2nd fret, then back down with the pinky. Okay? If we put that in with the chord pattern from before... Okay? And you can hear how that all sounds together. Every verse is going to go through the same. The only difference with the second verse is this C chord here, this C sus2 chord, gets held for one extra bar. Okay? And he doesn't strum it either. So it's going to sound like this, the second verse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back into the pump. And so on. Okay, so hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Listen to the acoustic version of the tune and I'm sure you'll manage to pick up where we are. So, once we've done that, we're going to move on to our pre-chorus. Right, our pre-chorus is in six chords altogether. Okay, we have to play an E minor, D sharp augmented, a G, a C sharp minor 7 flat 5, a C5 and a C sus2. Now these will probably all sound quite crazy, these chords, but they're very, very simple. As long as we can get the first shape down, it'll be easy. So we'll put the chords on the screen here, and you can follow through with me. We're focusing on strings 5, 4 and 3 here. We're going to start off with the first chord, which is fret number 7, fret number 5 and fret number 4 in a row here. So it's 7 on the 5th string and then work your way down 7, 5 and 4. So we're going to be strumming these chords through. Okay? We'll just strum one on each to start off with. So there's our first chord. Now the easiest move in the song probably is changing from this E minor to the D sharp augmented. Lift off your pinky and put your third finger down at the sixth fret on the fifth string. That's going to give us the augmented sound. Switch your fingers around to get to the G, so it's five, five and four we're changing to now. Then we're going to change around to make almost like a D shape like you would on the guitar, like here, you make a normal D chord. It'll be four, five and four, 
uh, fret wise on strings number 5, 4 and 3. That's going to give us a next chord. So we'll have moved down chromatically over the A string. Okay, then we're going to change to a power chord shape, which is 3, 5 and 5 fret wise on strings 5, 4 and 3. You probably recognise that shape if you've been playing the guitar for a while. That's C5, and then stretch the pinky out to C sus2 at the 7th fret. So that's a 3, 5, and 7 fret. Okay? So we'll play this through. We're going to push um, every second chord. Okay? So we're going to go like this. doing there is between the E minor and D sharp augmented I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can see I'm doing 7 strums on this first one, then 9 strums on this first one. That'll equal a 16 count. We're kind of just pushing that change, that D sharp um, augmented change, just like a little bit further ahead to where it should be. So it's 7 and 9 strums. You do the same on the next two chords, on the G and the C sharp minor 7 flat 5. So you're going to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then do exactly the same with the third fret power chord shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you're just pushing one chord ahead each time there. That's all your moves. Once you've done that, you're ready to go into your chorus. Now, you can mix up your strumming here. You can play those strums, or sometimes what he does is just strum one, and then just change a little bit quicker, like that. Okay, so try it both ways. You can hear how he plays it along with the song though. So have a listen to the acoustic version. Now let's move on to our chorus now. We're almost there. Right, our chorus has five chords in it. It has a good old friend, the G over B chord that we had at the start. It has a G chord. It has an E minor 7. It has a D sus 4. And it has a C sus 2. Okay? So let's go through what we'll play for our chorus. We're going to start on G over B and we'll use the chords on screen to help us. So we've already been through these chords. So we're just going to go through the order that we'll play them in. We're going to play G over B first of all. We're going to play it three times. And that's going to lead into a G chord. Then G over B. Then E minor 7. Then D sus 4. Then C sus 2. Then D sus 4. Then E minor 7. Okay, so that's like the sort of order that we're going in. G over B, then to G. G over B to E minor 7. D to C, then D back to E minor. Okay, so. We'll go through how we're strumming that. It's three on the first one. One, two, three, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Okay? So strumming-wise, we're doing three at the start. One, two, three. One here, one big strum on the G. Right? So that's one there. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's almost like you're playing... You're playing like a like almost like a twelve count on your your G chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And doing the same sort of pattern there on every chord. So we'll play that through. Then we'll go back to G for B for three. To E minor seven. And do those twelve strums. Then D. One, two, three, C. Okay, now depending on what point we are, the first chorus will go to a D to finish off three strums. And we'll go back to that little riff. But if we're on the second chorus, it will go twice through. Okay, and the last chorus as well will go twice through. And instead of finishing D to a C, we're actually going to sneak in a little. chord which is fret 2 on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd string so you just put your fingers in order there. 
So I'll play through what the end of the second chorus will sound like, uh, and then we can move on to our last part, which is the little riff that he plays in the bridge section. So here we go, here's the, the full second chorus. I'll play it through twice and then end on an A chord. So here we go. party goes shh, there's a little shush and then we're into this little riff at the end and then we've completed the song so if you stuck with me so so far thumbs up hopefully I've not bored the pants off you so let's go with the last part of the song now so our little riff section and that is us complete right our bridge section high fives and fist pumps all round for sticking with me here so we're gonna do our very last bit we'll put the, the little tab on the screen for this it's very easy it's basically three notes we're going to be playing the 5th and the 4th string together, the 4th string playing the 11th fret and the 5th string is going to be open. So we're going to play two hits on our first one, which is the 5th and 4th string together. Then we're going to play a 12th fret on the 5th the string. And then we're going to play an upstroke, which is going to go back to the open. Okay, so we'll play that again. So you see what I'm doing there is I'm keeping the pattern going. We're going to add in an extra um, open and 11th fret as we go along. So it's 1, 2, 12 and that's your first part. And then 1, 2, 3 opens, then a 12 and then an upstroke. Okay, so follow through that tab and see if you can make sense of that. make crazy noises in between like he does in the acoustic version um, when you've got that little pause. Like that sort of thing. Okay? So that's like a really like fun bit for you that you can add in. Once you've done that little riff and followed it through and practiced it, you go back into the a little pre-chorus. And so on. That will lead into our last chorus. Okay, and then you play through the chorus all the way to the end and finish on that E chord that we finished on. Okay, so hopefully that all makes a bit of sense and you can practice it all the way through. Thanks for watching folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Remember to let me know if there is any other songs that you would like me to have a look at and I can do my best to get them done for you. And until the next video, take care.